taxes. Taxes, taxes, taxes. Nine euro to give, nine euro to give. Hey. Welcome and welcome back to The Phoebe Way. If this is your first time, my name is Phoebe and on this channel I share tips on life in Germany. Also, as tradition demands, first Sunday of the month, last Sunday was a holiday, but first Sunday of the month we discuss the legal updates and things that you should look out for as a foreigner and as an expat living in Germany. So without further ado, let's get our cup of coffee and get started. Mm -hmm. They can start. This month has a lot of good things. Lots and lots and lots of good news. Should I start with the good news first? No, let me tell you the thing that you should look out for, the, the, your duties first, and then we can get into the good news. I'm going to save the good news for last, okay? So keep watching, don't go anywhere. Number one, Corona. <laughs> corona is, is still with us, guys. Not the virus itself, but the rules still, you know, it's looking like the restrictions have been eased and they have been laid way and laid off and no, 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 no. Things are happening. Crazy things are happening. Crazy things are happening. No, but on a more serious note, if you contract the virus, usually you had to quarantine for 10 days, right? Now, after the fifth day, you can take a test and if the test is negative, and you do not have any symptoms, you can report back to work after five days. That's what they call the five testing. If you still have the symptoms, you can extend it to 10 days. The discussion is going on on whether people who are related or living in the same household with infected people are also entitled to isolation slash quarantine. I'm going to update you guys on what goes on with that. Then let's get into number two, your taxes. Taxes, taxes, taxes. Tax um, return for the year 2020. The deadline is um, the 31st of May 2022. If you are using the services of a tax advisor or the Lohnsteuerhilfeverein. So Lohnsteuerhilfeverein is basically an office or a club or an association that you go to that helps you with your taxes. They don't charge as much as the tax advisor does. So if you do not want to um, go to a tax advisor, you can go to Lohnsteuerhilfeverein. They do it for you as well. But make sure that it is submitted before the end of May 2022. Another thing that is coming this month on the 15th of May is the census. So they are going to collect data on those people, people who live and work in Germany. If you are sent the information or the, the forms to fill, you are obligated to cooperate. So you don't think that um, I don't have to give any information, Charlie. That's where your data, uh, whatever ends. Answer it, okay? Answer the, the questions and give it back to the Bundesamt for statistics or the Statistics Bundesamt. One of them shall I'll write the name, but it's basically the, the office for statistics, the German office or federal office for statistics. You can um, check um, the information all out as well. Other things that are going to be happening are also, you know, the first one, the years that I told you about the consumer laws that are going to be more protective for consumers, are going to, pres uh, yeah, going to be more advantageous for consumers. More things are happening. So if you have, um, contracts that should be terminated look into that most service providers have sent out emails on things that have changed and all of that so look 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 into the contracts and see which one you can terminate already if you wish to get out of certain contracts and then we have this house or let's say the story um, not just house or chef so after you get somebody comes to your house without you inviting them you don't have to pay cash at that point of the point that you close the contract you also have two weeks 
to um, revoke that contract or to just cancel that contract. So remember that. And not just that, it's not going to be easy for people to call you and have you close contracts or make contracts with them over the phone. Your rights there are protected. That's what I mean with the consumer law. So this is, uh, these are the new changes that are coming in. If you want more information on that, I'm going to put the links in the description box down below. Now let's get to the good news. First, let me tell the other good news. The good news is luggage pool. I have told you that I'm here. It is, it's become my mission to make life in Germany easier for you. So luggage pool is your solution to all kinds of logistics problems. For example, if you're moving homes, not just that, if you also need someone to convey something from point A to point B within Germany and even now across Europe, just go on luggage pool, find a driver for that kind of um, purpose. If you need a whole van as well, as I said, for moving homes, luggage pool is there for you. Not just that, because it's made for expats, by expats, if you're trying to send a small package, be it medicine, be it some documents, chocolate, I do not know, but any small package, back home to where you come from originally, be it India, Ghana, Nigeria, go on luggage pool and search for someone who would be able to convey such things um, to your home country quick, quick, quick in a jiffy, okay? That is one thing you should look out for. And another thing this year is the luggage pool has an app. So just download the app and do your business on the go. If you want to save, this is the link. This is the link, your girl got you. You save five years of your first transaction. So luggage pool is your solution to all of your logistics problems and it is very, very easy. Now let's get to the good, 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 good news. The nine euro ticket, the nine euro ticket. Hey, Deutsche Bahn, where's the end's car check? Now the see you, ah, listen. The only bad thing about the, let me talk about the bad things first. The only bad things about nine euro ticket is that it applies to the calendar month. So if you buy on the 15th of June, for example, it expires by the end of June, okay? So that's one thing you should look out for. So make sure you buy on the 1st of June, then it lasts to the end of June, on the 1st of July, it, it lasts to the end of July, on the 1st of August, it lasts to the end of August. That's one thing, one bad thing. Number two is that it does not apply to IC and ICE trains. So the, those fast flight trains, are shoom, shoom, shoom. they are not part, okay? That's the only bad thing. But now let me tell you what it's about, okay? The nine euro ticket is the government's um, way of compensating us for the high rise in prices of fuel and electricity and energy, you know? So now for the whole month from June till the end of August, first June to the end of August, you can buy your nine euro ticket for just nine euro per month. So if you buy two months, it's 18 euros. If you buy three months, it's 27 euros. Yup, yup. And then, um, okay, that's it, fine. What trains can you use? You can even use the ferry in Hamburg, for example. You can use the bus, the radio trains, so or the red ones, the S-Bahn, the U-Bahn. You know, all those ones you can use except, except IC and ICE. So if you like, oh, I'm just giving you an idea. If you like, from Stuttgart to Hamburg, just make it a one-week trip, you know. You do it small, 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 go together. I know guess you to go together. Eh, eh, go small, small, you know. So that is the idea I have for you, but I'm so excited about this because guys, train tickets be expensive. And for those of us who have had this um, semester tickets and workers tickets and all of that, they are thinking of reimbursing us in some point as well. But that is fine because even if you have the workers ticket, you can travel through the whole of Baden-Württemberg for nine euros per month. So I'm still gonna get it. So Mannheim, hi, Wiesbaden, hi. Everywhere I can just connect trains to with the radio, hi. See me, see me. Are we going to vlog? Hell yeah, we are going to vlog. I'm going to show you Germany on the 9 euro ticket, sis. Bro, I tell you, we're going to do this. But yes, that is one good news. That is one good news I'm so excited about, guys. May is going to be good, not just because it's my month, but um, I'm just excited. Mm. Let me not forget. Mm. Let me tell you about where to get the ticket. So you can get it at the service points. I mean, the the sale point of DB or your file for S or wherever you usually buy your bus ticket, not in the bus however now. But if you want to also buy it online, it's bessavita.de. www.bessavita.de. So www.be 
S S E R W E I T E R W T E. Whew. I got it. Mm. I don't mind leaving. I have to get to work now. Not on the nine year ticket, but I still have to go to work now. So I'll see you guys same time next Sunday. Yeah, next next Sunday. I have more content for you. Thank you so so much for your support. We are getting to three thousand subscribers now. Wow, wow, wow! I never expected it. <laughs> yes, guys, I'm so excited because today is Friday. It's Friday, so yes, yes, yes. Take care of yourselves and see you same time next Sunday. Adele, oh let me say it now in Austrian German. Baba. -ba. <laughs>